was working. I was working for the Carlton Group as an investment banker from when I was an investment banker. But she made me like utilize, be as resourceful as possible to get catalysts, like recruit people. And that's where psychology comes into play. Get schools on board, literally raise capital, the whole nine, everything you could think of, having a team of nothing but volunteers on your leadership team, but then having enough capital to hire like education programs and managers. So some context of catalyst is the youth enrichment, youth professional development okay. um, nonprofit. So we developed the hard and soft skills of our youth. So we operate in Washington, DC, New York City. So oh, we're in 2011. Where's the, the way lo- we rock. I'm sorry for so, cutting you off. Uh, where's it located in DC? Yo, so we don't have a physical office in DC. Uh-huh. The office in New York City is with Community Board's eight office, which is 1291 St. Mark's Avenue All right. in Crown Heights. And we, so pretty much. I mean, we have New York, New York listeners yeah, too. So, so. Okay, perfect. So then we partnered with nine high schools in Brooklyn. So Mega Everest um, Community, Mega Everest, so MECPS. Um, Bedford Academy, Benjamin Banneker Academy, Erasmus Hall, School Campus, Youth Community Development, uh, Achievement First University Prep, Achievement First Brooklyn High School, Brooklyn Tech, Midwood, um, City Polytech, oh, maybe okay. forgetting another school. City Poly, City Poly. And Who then, played um, there? City Poly has had ballers. Yeah, but I, say, I hadn't heard that name. <laughs> and, then, and then here back home, we, we partnered with Benjamin Banneker. Okay. We partnered with Wilson, Wilson School of Walls, Montgomery Blair High School, Eleanor Roosevelt, the Black Student Fund, Latino Student Fund. So the schools that oh, we wow. partner with, we do a variety of events at the school. So we'll have like an SAT prep. Well, in D.C., we hold all our workshops in our summer intensive program at Howard University. So Howard has showed his love for the past six years. So we've had SAT prep workshop. We've had, um, you know, resume development workshop, you name it. But our three-week summer intensive program is held at the Blackburn Center at D.C. So we had our first cohort in D.C. in 2015. So we select about 15 to 25 students from those high schools in D.C. and Maryland, as well as the Black Student Fund, Latino Student Fund. So from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., our program is free. I hire an education programs manager that's usually a teacher from Washington, D.C. We have a curriculum built out that Emily Christopher created. So she went to North Carolina A&T undergrad and got a master's from um, Harvard School of Education. So sure. she built out a three-week summer intensive pro- program curriculum. So we it develops like every day we have um, professional panel sessions from, and this occurs in DC from July to August. And like we'll have a media panel, we'll have an educational panel, we'll have a business and finance panel, we'll have a tech panel, we'll have an engineering panel. So we have like 80 Facebook photo albums of all these panels, and then we have like 20 videos. And then we take them on corporate tours. So they've been to Goldman Sachs, Microsoft, Morgan Stanley, oh, wow. NPR, Fox News, BT, Essence. Yeah. Um, Covington and Berlin, and then we secure them with internships, and then um, when they go to college and matriculate, and we have partnerships with like a lot of colleges that are familiar. Some of the recruiters are familiar with us, so Hampton, Howard, Morehouse, Spelman, Harvard, Yale, Columbia, UPenn. So when we do like, um, and then we have college fairs as well. So we just did our fourth annual U STEM event like five months ago. We have video of it. it. Google was a sponsor, Microsoft was a sponsor, Covington and Berlin was a sponsor. So Microsoft did a coding workshop. Google did a workshop. We have a uh, a panel discussion. And then Covington and Berlin did a workshop as well. And then afterwards, we have like Harvard, Yale, Columbia, UPenn, Hampton, Howard, Morehouse, Spelman, Morgan, NYU, St. Francis College, a college fair. We usually have, we've done four annual youth stems that have all been held at Google's office, New York's office. And you know what I'm saying? That's how we raise funds. And then throughout the school year, we also have, like our professional events, so I'm meeting at the minds. So our most, like, the big one that we did in D.C. not too long ago, we had Don Peoples. So, you know, Don Peoples yeah, from yeah, here. Yeah. He runs the largest black-owned development firm worth $7 billion. He's worth, like, $800 million. He's given the most to my nonprofit, close mental to minds. But we had him and Tom Moorhead on the panel. So Tom Moorhead, for people who don't know him, he Why? owns the largest black-owned BMW dealership called Sterling Motor Cars. He huh. owns the only black-owned Rolls-Royce Lamborghini and McLaren dealership in the nation, the only black owned in the world. And then he owns about 10 hotels in DC, Maryland, Virginia. So we had them both on a panel. We wanted to keep it black. We held it at um, uh, Mark Bonds' at Park. We had a like park. 400 okay, people. Okay. Black Enterprise wrote about it. So we got like over thousands of views on it. But Don and Tom spoke for about an hour and a half. And it was called Position of Power. So we wanted to highlight blacks that built companies from the ground up that are all black owned 100%. And then they hire blacks, like not low-level jobs, like hundreds, thousands of dollars jobs. And then like 
Tom Moorhead is given $5 million with his gap from foundation. Gap meaning like you're in college and then you can't get funding no more for the next semester or whatever. He hands, he's given $5 million just to black. So we wanted to illuminate them. And then we're trying to work on another position of power and trying to get Robert F. Smith and then the founder of Brown Capital, which is in Baltimore, which is a $4 billion asset management fund started by a black brother as well. And then, uh, but we've done like womanomics. We've done um, Meaning of Minds event, NYC gentrification, Washington, D.C. gentrification, school to prison pipeline. And for those professional events, like we partner with the Hampton, D.C. chapter, the uh, Howard, D.C. chapter, the Morehouse Spelman, D.C. chapter, the black uh, alumni chapters of Harvard, Hill, Harvard, Yale, Columbia, UPenn, um, as well as like the uh, Black MBA Association, NSBE, and all of that. So our thing was like, Let's get all these organizations together for, for CNF. That's an acronym for Catalyst Network Foundation, my nonprofit. It was three prong for us. Let's raise capital. But we use these people that work at these corporations to provide corporate tours. We have a mentorship program. We use them. Once they come to the professional event, they're like, all right, we talk about CNF. Like, oh, I want to be a mentor. Or when we need them a panel. So it's an outlet where we can get professionals like ourselves to be aware of seeing that instead of us sending a random email to somebody who's like, I don't know this organization where I want to be a mentor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they come to this professional event and then once they come, you know, they network and they having fun. And then now we talk about seeing that and they're willing. So we use it as that, that vessel.